Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. In this particular video, I am saying about this uh, 7.9.2 Evolution X. This is the latest version. Many people are asking me to review the 7.9, 9.1. I was waiting for 7.9.2. I hope you guys understood that. And Android version is 13 here, you can see. It's basically very near to android 14 now and may 5th 2023 is the latest security patch available and kernel user is 4.14.302 dex k kernel has been used in this particular rom build date you can see may 24th is the latest build date and selling status is enforcing and i have been running some benchmark results here you can see the uh, geekpen 6 it hasn't have any option to include the history of the results since i have took the screenshot you can see 691 is the single score and 1743 is the multi score and android 13 links 4.14.3 to dex k kernel as i said before and i have run the cpu throttling test for 100 thread test guys you can see for last 15 minutes you can see the maximum is around 185 and average is 176 and minimum is of 158 and it's throttled to 92 percent of its max performance it's mostly green peaks here and there yellow is there but it's fine in my opinion it's a very good uh, thermal throttling here i i mean it's not that much and this is the antidote benchmark results you can see 3,58,158 and 2.2 degree celsius is the temperature sorry yeah temperature decreased actually okay three percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing scores could have been better and bgmi will be coming soon i can make a gaming review later but as of now i can say it will be even better for this bgmi also uh, i tried installing them and charging rapidly is supported i tried multiple times it takes some time first it will show charging slowly later it will show charging rapidly that's how it is and typical home screen you get here if i press and hold here you get evo x launcher again you get icons pack if you want you can add them from here as you can see plus option you can download the third party applications from play store icon size increase or decrease and notification dots again you get plenty of options you can see enhanced notifications blink light notification log allow face unlock on home screen those things you can check out in the notification dots again font size you can increase or decrease maximum lines for app label is also given now moving to home screen again you get you get a lot more options here you can see google search bar if you want you can enable or disable even music search or themed icons if you want you can enable from here app drawer again simple enough recents again you get memory information if you want to show you can enable from here suggestions again if want you can enable or disable i will disable them blocked apps you can even block them miscellaneous settings again you get use taskbar and allow home screen rotations and you get restart button and typical uh, home screen setup you get widgets as i already installed it and you also get battery widget and all and wallpaper sense style you won't get any pre-installed wallpapers here and again wallpaper colors basic colors have been included here you can see on the screen dark theme i will explain a little bit later themed icons app grid you get up to 6 into 10 that's fine shortcuts again they have been added few of the shortcuts here if you want you can customize them system icon packs and system fonts moving into some other settings before that i'll show you the quick settings panel how simple it is and how smooth you can see this is the automatic brightness toggle you also get this automatic brightness toggle here itself and these are the quick settings uh, tiles you will get in the edit section again you get print of options here if you want you can add them on the main quick settings panel and also you get that power button and settings button and you also see the data usage from here and okay memory you can see here in the recent apps and i have like 100 mps uh, connection here fiber connection is pulling up to 89 mbps which is fine even with mobile data connection also everything is working fine no problem regarding that carrier aggregation support is there again headphone quality using this 3.5 mm it's fine here uh, i haven't faced any uh, heating issues in this particular rom it's really really great in my opinion now camera application you get a MIUI camera which you can see uh, the clarity of the photographs are really good 
as you can see again it's a very good camera application you get all the leica integrated camera here if i go into settings again you can see you get options print of options it is smooth no lag whatsoever all the options you can download from here for example vlog pro is given even vlog and movie effects other things can be found useful uh, only one thing i have noticed in this particular camera is when i go into photo mode and select that 64 megapixel mode again i will try that once i capture if you check it out it will not show you ultra hd or anything like that because we are using uh, google photos here uh, hence it's not showing but if i go into information again you can see it's captured in 64 megapixel only uh, those are some minor uh, here and there problems in the camera application but it will take the uh, full potential of that 64 megapixel that what i want to say if want you can use any other gcam ports my favorite is agc currently but arnova is the uh, all time favorite for this poco xc will work good all the lenses even in ultra wide angle also you get video up to 4k 60 actually uh, no 4k 30 only that's fine in my opinion and DRM information again you get a level 1 certified as you can see you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution now moving into safety net status again uh, it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can do that and i even tried google meet video calls all are working fine no problem regarding that in this particular rom android benchmark i already shown you other app you can also see the app opening time here uh, that's it let's move into actual settings here as you can see uh, the settings panel is also fine here no problem no lag whatsoever it's really really good in my opinion in system again you get a gestures option if i go into gestures navigation again there is option to increase both fill radius and as well as length here which is very important for me and it is given again you get plenty of options like one handed mode and swipe to three finger screenshot those things will work fine as you can see i'll increase a little bit of volume here yeah this is how the volume panel looks like in this particular rom they have been uh, improved a lot in terms of battery life also in this particular rom if i can show you this is digital well-being if i can show you this uh, battery um, battery usage as you can see it's really really good in my opinion if you want to get a very good battery life in evolution x rom that was not the case but you were getting that moderate moderate level of battery uh, screen on time but now with the dex k kernel it's very much optimized the battery profiles i mean the crepe profiles has been given here even optimization profiles again battery charge warning and again sleep mode uh, extreme battery saver options has been given here that's really good in my opinion even you can see the capacity of the charge cycles and temperature the battery life has been improved and charging speeds it's like around 20 watts it will pull not a full 33 watt uh, output but it is good in my opinion and again display settings i kept all the things to uh, see 120 120 tap to wake and become like full screen apps if certain apps are not playing in the full screen you can enable them here desktop mode is also given and additional display features i really like them if want you can do that but don't do when you want to play the high-end games that keep in mind because it will get form the display and wallpaper style i already explained and again accessibility menu which is a handy feature i keep on telling them in every video but no one uses that without actually using the physical buttons you can access the other settings from here switch access is also given other things display size and text i slightly improved i mean increase the display size and keep this bold text if want you can disable and uh, minimize them based on your requirement now moving into the customizations here you get the themes again theming settings you can use the color source and theme style luminance chroma tint background dark theme again you can use the dark theme take a while okay and you can use the custom theme here i really like the black one let's see yeah it's now in pitch black condition which looks uh, really really fine in my opinion you can even schedule them a uh, little bit delay here okay anyhow combined qs element again icon pack headline these things you can customize from here notifications again you get plenty of options here status bar again 
you get plenty of options as we already seen in some of the other ROMs quick settings again battery style follow the uh, quick status bar you can do that power menu again advanced restart button is given gestures I already explained them lock screen customizations you can see on the screen yeah buttons uh, again there are some customizations and animations there are few miscellaneous settings again these are very important uh, in order to increase the high fps count in the bgmi like of games you need to enable that and unlimited photo storage also you can enable from here these are the customizable settings now in the actual settings and sound and vibration you get typical settings here smart pause is also given here vibration and haptics you can actually increase or decrease the intensity of particular uh, modes from here even uh, vibration patterns have been included in this particular ROM this is the other things and display I already explained and coming to security features you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it is working fine now face unlock it is also quick enough to unlock your smartphone using the face and fingerprint unlock that's cool in my opinion everything is fine in this ROM if you want to use it as a daily driver you can do that again dialer you get a typical uh, Google dialer here. You also get direct video call feature here. It has said that, and even call recording feature is also working, but it will announce the other person you are recording the call. Yes, this is how the uh, Evolution X 7.9.2. Stay tuned to my channel, you will get a lot more videos, but I will make a little bit delayed because these updates uh, are unexpected. Once it will get, I will make them uh, continuously. Uh, this is how the Evolution X 7.9.2 based on Android 13 for uh, CoXC slash NFC. If you have any specific questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Also, there is a dedicated WhatsApp group, Telegram group for CoXC. You can join them and I will be making live streams also. And flashing method, very simple. I used 14.0.1 firmware and followed by that flash this ROM zip file. Format data, use format data method. Uh, that's it. This is the review of this Evolution X 7.9.2. We'll meet with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.